Spice Pisces to your December Asher Dice reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Welcome in. Okay, let's see. Best message. And for those of you who are new, this is where I take astrology with Carol. I make a small horoscope for the month using only one of the 12 houses. So give us the best house. Let's see what is going on for this beautiful new year. What is going on for this beautiful holiday season? We have... Saturn coming out into the fourth house with some Libra energy. Mm. With the Saturn going on, it is the part of you that accepts the challenge to gain the wisdom right off the bat. Starting out the month with some challenges that need to be looked at. Hmm, what is hidden? What is hidden? Some kind of secret. Okay, let's see. With Libra, this energy is diplomatic, gracious. It seeks harmony and balance in a relationship. And going straight into that fourth house. The fourth house is your home and the roots of your being. Okay. Your family life. Your home life. Yourself. Okay. Grab our cards and see what's going on. We're going to use this deck. Let's use this deck first. Getting straight into the situation. The situation is taking place in the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. Having patience. So, patience. Getting to your material harvest. So waiting for some kind of reward to come in, waiting for something to happen. Uh, it looks like you have invested in something and you're waiting for this to take place. Um, and it looks like you have been a little dis discontent or a little bored within the situation. It's taking a little, it's taking a little long, uh, waiting for this phone call, waiting for them to come, this contractor to come to my house, um, buying a house, renting a house. It could be something that has to do with the home itself. Um, right, patiently waiting, could even be for some of you even waiting for a baby to come in, just saying, right, fourth house, um, maybe you're, you know, it's just like, uh, maybe you're a little late, a little overdue, um, however it is, but it does look like to the point where it's like four of cups, you know what I mean, it's like I'm trying to find my peaceful place within myself, but there's this place of it's just like, Ugh. It's like dreadful, dragging on. I mean, look at him. He's just like, could this drag on anymore, right? If you're waiting for something that's so exciting to happen within the fourth house, like I said, like a baby or something, you could be waiting for this excitement to happen and it's just dragging on and on and on. You're just waiting. Um, whatever it is within the fourth house, um, right? You guys know what's going on in your fourth house. Everybody's story is different. Uh, but it does say that you have the Ace of Cups. Oh, there it is, that new baby. That's so funny. The Ace of Cups is new baby, marriage proposal. You could be waiting for someone to come home. Maybe you're waiting for it, someone in the military to come home. They're doing their services. Um, something of this nature. So take it how it is. But this is talking about being patient for your love and for the things that you love and the things that make you feel like you're in love. Right? Using your intuition, really trying to keep that poisonous to yourself. Keep yourself content and patient as possible. Um, material harvest, it's like I'm really waiting for this. I've put a lot of energy and a lot of time into this, um, right? I'm just waiting for this to happen, um, this reward to come through, okay? So it's almost like I've dreamed of this moment. That's literally what it feels like. I've dreamed of this moment, and the anxiety is really there. I do feel like for some of you, you do have a little anxiety, even though you're trying to keep yourself as patient as possible. Um, subconsciously, you know, this will happen, that this is coming in, um, and you're just waiting for that big boom moment this month. Okay. And yes, you're waiting for that ace of swords. Wow. Ace of cups and ace of swords. So really waiting for this breakthrough. 
Um, I think that there is new ideas, and I think maybe you are trying to find other things to do. Keep your mind occupied while you are waiting for this situation, because otherwise it does feel like it's just kind of dragging over here. Everything's just kind of dragging on as you're waiting to get to your victory, because the victory is the Six of Wands at the end of the deck. So I'm actually going to pull that, because it does feel that that's exactly what's going on. You're waiting. You're waiting, you know, for this, you know, this huge victory to come through. Um, and I'm just gonna, you know, just trying your hardest. Um, so let's see. Um, yeah, and the Libra over here, I love that though because it is. It's kind of like you're keeping yourself in your own diplomacy, right? <laughs> you're trying to keep yourself as balanced as possible in your emotions. Um, we have a lot of emotions up here. We have the Ace of Cups and the Moon. That's a lot of emotions. So, right, and then trying to keep your mental clarity at bay. So let's see. Oh, and the Four of Cups as well. So. Hmm. having the truth coming out within this situation there is a lot of trust and a lot of truth and that's that libra once again and that justifying the situation some kind of truth is going to come out at the middle of the month um when it comes to this but it's like you're already in the knowing of this truth you already understand this truth and this is where your passion is definitely ignited hello ace of wands um yeah this is where this truth comes out can, you know, it's like, I already know, though. I already know that was going to happen. I already, you know, and that's exactly what it is. I know. Um, that's what that means. Um, and this is where your passion is definitely ignited. I am happy. I'm free. I've got what I want. Ooh. Okay. Let's see what the truth is. Tell me the truth because the Saturn says the challenge to gain the wisdom. What's the truth? What's the truth? That's that Saturn. Part of me that accepts the challenge to gain the wisdom. I got it now, but you already knew it. Uh-huh. It was the Nine of Cups. It's what your heart desires, what you were waiting for this whole time. If you're waiting for them to pop the question, you're just waiting and waiting. You're just like, I know you're going to do this. If that baby's coming, it's like, I know it's coming. I know it's coming. Somewhere around the 20th, it's coming. The 15th, the 14th, it's coming. Um. So whatever it is, this is where your emotion, this is where it, it's just, you know what, this is where everything just comes together for you. It's the genie in the bottle. Your wish has come true, but you already knew it would. You were just waiting, right? It wasn't one of those things where it's not like I don't know it's going to, look, no matter what, you know, that if you're having a baby, you know it's coming no matter what. It was just like, maybe you gave it a date. You said, no, because it's going to be late. It's going to be here on the 15th, right? And you were like, I knew it, you know? Your intuition's on target. Um, it says it is no matter what with the two, you have two cards of intuition anyways. So, I mean, if you, maybe that's why you're staying patient. You're like, I know, you know, I know that's when it's coming. So, I mean, you're already in the knowing that this is going to happen. It's just, you're just gorgeous. It's like, it's that drag ass moment. You know what I mean? Like, oh my God, could time go any slower? I already know it's coming, but it's that part of you that has to accept the challenge, right? The challenge of the weight. That's really what this is all about, the challenge of the weight. It's not like it's any kind of like big secret. Now, for some of you, it could be because maybe they're, it could be because you do have the moon as well. Maybe they're trying to keep it a secret. Maybe like if it's a secret proposal, but you know for a fact they're coming to ask me to marry them. I'm just waiting. You know what I mean? I know your secret. See what I'm saying? So take it how it resonates, but in the end, you know anyways. Oh my God, I love this reading. This is going to transform everything. This is the ending of a beautiful new beginning. And that's really what you're waiting for the whole time anyways. You're waiting for this transformation within the fourth house. You're waiting for this. You know, you're waiting for that, you know, um, closure to come, right? So that you can buy this new house or waiting for this deal or, you know, whatever it is. Um, however it is. But it's got your passions ignited so much with the two of cups. Thank God. There's this mutual attraction in this proposal and this connection, this partnership that's coming through. Like I said, for some of you, you're definitely going to be proposed till marriage to marriage, and you just know that you have this new partnership. Maybe you're waiting for this soulmate. Maybe you can feel them coming in. However, it is, you know what it is. It's so beautiful. This is probably the most beautiful reading so far of the month that I've had. 
just knowing, just being in that knowing that this is coming together. I just have to be so patient. I just, you know, I have to accept the challenge of time. That's really what this is, the challenge of time. Me and time. Me and that hourglass are just going at it. Oh my God, and I love this. I do actually like that. It's a kind of a strange thing. And I'm actually, you know, I usually don't take these. You guys know I don't usually take these cards upside down unless it's 100% necessary. But the reason is, is because it's not really needed, right? You just kind of already see what's going on. But this one's saying I don't have to self-sacrifice anything for this. And I'm going to keep it that way. Because in the hangman position, usually you know that you're having an enlightenment, you're waking up, I have to let go of things, I need to self-sacrifice, and Spirit's saying, the end of the month, there's nothing else to self-sacrifice, there's nothing else to let go of, there's nothing, you've done all the work, just enjoy yourself. You don't need to hang upside down anymore, you've got everything you need, just enjoy it. And intuitively, you will already know, and you already will see that you've done all the work. Just relax now. It's time to relax. It's time to enjoy yourself. There's no more stress. You have the firm foundation. You have everything that you need. You have the successes. You have everything that you were looking for. You accepted the challenge. You gained the wisdom. Everything is coming together as beautiful as it was. Hourglass is done. It's done. Everything has come together. It came together in the mid-month. So now it's just time for you to enjoy the firm foundations. It's time for you to enjoy, just to open up and relax, right? If you feel like you need to save money, you know, then save money, right? It's the four of pinnacles. If you feel like you want to save money, save money. If you feel like you have other things that you need to do, do whatever you feel is on your to-do list. But to actually have to let go of things and do things to maintain what it is you're maintaining, no. You've done all the work. Oh my gosh. Your wrist chakra is beautiful. You're grounded. You know exactly where you need to be. You've, you've already you've already went up this mountain. You don't need to go up no more mountains, guys. You're, it's, you're done. You're done climbing the mountain. You've reached the top. You're at the top of the mountain. You're exactly where you're supposed to be at this time. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. See, new beginnings. You're at the full. New beautiful beginnings. That's exactly where you've just reached yourself. A whole new chapter in life. A whole new book of life. That's exactly what it is. With the harmony. Oh my gosh, I love that. With harmony and peace. That's the lover's card. Being in love. You know, if there's other choices that you want to make, then that's fine. But you're exactly where you're supposed to be at this time. And let the, you know what? Let the end of the month just be peaceful. You've done all this work. You know, time dragged on forever and ever. You know, but you've got everything you need right now. And your fourth house is just beautiful. It's content. It's peaceful. There's so much love, so much joy, so much happiness. And no, I'm not going to say there's not that bigger every now and again. I'm just meaning on the overall. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, there's no more sacrifice. It's like you already worked on your shadow self. You already got rid of all the destructions and all the toxicities. You've done everything you're supposed to do. You've already had your wake up. You've already had your judgment call. You've already done all your inner work. It's just, just time to just relax. Take the time to just enjoy. Let the weight off your shoulders. There's nothing there. Not in the fourth house. Hey, I didn't say there was nothing else in the second house. Maybe you have to go to work and deal with some asshole. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sitting in your fourth house. I didn't say all the houses. <laughs> You're like, well, wait a minute. I went to work. Okay, and this guy. Okay, I said the fourth house. I didn't say the second house of work. No, you relax when you get home. Everything at home is fine. Okay, except for that child that still can't find their shoes to go to school. Okay, or late every morning. Okay, but, you know, on the overall, everything is cool. Just relax, okay? Because you'll have to deal with that person at work. <clears throat> you know about that person. That's the one that keeps stealing my stapler. Damn it. Where's my stapler now? <laughs> I'm 
I always have to use that as an example because I literally had that happen to me and I just cannot, I could never let that go. It's like every time I turned around, that damn stapler was gone. So I always use that as an example. Ugh, everything is justified. Everything is good. Everything is good. Okay. Just trust within the universe and just know your truth and sit in your truth. Okay. Look at that peaceful, peaceful love, peaceful family, peaceful happiness. Just feel, just be fulfilled right now. Right? Just feel that fulfillment. Right? Time to manifest new things. Be in your power. Enjoy life. Exactly. Exactly. How beautiful is that? Okay, my friends. And that was it for you. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.